Hello. All right. So for the first thing here, um, what we need to do, guess first and last name. So we need to match up all the fields from this form to the spreadsheet. So we're just going to go field by field and it's going to be exactly matching the fields that are there. I'm going to do control shift V just to paste it without formatting. And we'll go back over here. So and then the next one is guess mobile phone. And while this is going on, I'm actually going to do um, Oh my gosh, I don't want to be in there. I want to select this text. Thank you. All right, um, so guess email is the next one. So I'm just going to open that in Elementor while, so I hit, sorry, at the top I hit edit with Elementor here because we're going to need to edit the form. Um, so guess mobile phone is the next one, and then guess email was the next one. And I'm just doing that so that it can be loading in the background while we're doing this. So this will load, and then um, I'll just continue matching up the fields. And then ultimately what we're going to do is use Zapier to match those two fields up. So fine, accept all cookies, thank you. Um, dun, dun, dun. So she has all these separate things, opt-ins, quiz. I don't know where we should put this one. Uh, Lunge is opt-in, type 10 podcast, stronger quarterly summit, 2023. I don't know, this is almost just like a contact form. So I'll just put it in the root and then if we need to move it somewhere else, um, we can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and over here on the right hand side, go ahead and create a zap and um, we'll just call it podcast guest up here. Thank you. Podcast guest submission. Okay. Um, so Oh, that's funny. It will actually build. This is my first time seeing AI in here. Um, so we'll be curious. Um, when a webhook is triggered, split text. Um, in the next step, split text. And in the following step, map step map the data to a Google sheet generate this is this is fun I've never actually done this we'll see what it builds in the zap here Let's see how it calls it and does it webhook data to step one catch hook step two format text step three this is exactly what I want it to do yeah <laughs> and that's amazing Wow I mean, normally, I mean, it doesn't take too long, right, to build these initial steps. I still have to go through and format them and whatever, but that's really cool. It understood exactly what I wanted, and it will build the zap for me. That is wild. This, I mean, that's, you know, eight to ten minutes of savings, but whatever. That's amazing. All right. Um, so AI is everywhere. All right. Guess email. Um, top, eh, dang it. All right, so now that I'm in the edit mode, I should have stayed on the front end mode, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to go over to the form here. I'm not sure how much you've worked in Elementor, if you've worked in Elementor at all yet, um, if Deborah's got you working on things in Elementor or not. Okay, so topic for guests. So we're going to put that here. We're going to go um, short bio for guest. Copy this. And go back here four to six questions back over here guess URL so all of this then will populate to this sheet um, in the right order oh well and just just matched up so that everybody's on this sheet right um, dun, dun, dun. is the guest what is the guest promoting something I don't know what this says, but is the guest promoting? Well, so fine. I mean, we'll put the whole. That's fine. I'll just put the whole question in here. It having really long questions like this for the field, um, it makes it a little harder to map because it's harder to find things. But that's fine. Uh, guest headshot, and this is going to be the image upload. It already is an image upload, which is awesome. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're already collecting all this data on the back end as well of the website. So you can always go into, um, where can you go? Into Elementor and then submissions. 
and you can see um, what someone has submitted. I'm going to go back up here though. Yeah, it is podcast guest and then the other place where we should, you won't have to do like a lot of this, but other place we should make sure we have this set up is in, it is there. Okay, so that's good. I'm not sure. I probably set this up to begin with because it looks like a lot of these steps are already in here. So name we should have as full name because name can mean many things. So it's good to just have these placeholders as what they are. Um, I do want to look at the email. So new podcast guest request from field ID equals name, of course. Full name is what we want in here. So when this emails to Deborah or podcast at um, I just changed the field name, so we'll be, we want to make sure to map this properly. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to go back over here. Hopefully this makes sense. I'm going through this kind of quick and not explaining it as thoroughly as I could, but hopefully this um, at least gives you an idea of what we're doing here. So that's going to be phone. Email is going to be email. Um, hopefully we just called this something short. Yep, topic, short bio. Hmm, we didn't name this properly, so short giving these identifiers um, really helps with the mapping and also just like when the field data is stored in Elementor, I'll show you in just a second, um, it helps to have that. So this just says message, but it should be like four to six questions. Um, questions for guest. Um, and then this should be like guest URL. Yeah. So these are just placeholder text and we really want it to map properly so and also be easy to see what those fields are. So it's best if we give these valid names. Um, and then this would be like guest social. Oh, full social media. Okay. So somebody did that one but didn't do this one. That's weird. Um, what was this? Guest promoting something? Uh, guest promo. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, you can't put spaces in the... Oh, dang it. I did this wrong. I thought it was in the advanced tab. I am not. Is the guest promoting? So, okay. So this just has placeholder text right now. We want guest promo. You can put underscores in the ID. Um, I just like to leave them without underscores because I, I actually am not a fan of underscores in my whole life. That's weird. I have, like, something against it. All right. Um, here we go. That's not that's actually true, um, but I don't know why I don't like underscores. Something happened with me in underscores. I'm traumatized somehow. Guest headshot. All right, so um, we'll go ahead and pull this up here and hit save. All right, so now what we're going to do in the actions after submit, we're going to add a webhook. So right now this is collecting submissions, sending an email, and redirecting. Those steps are down here. Right, so here's where we get the settings for email. Here's where we get the settings for redirect, and that's how we decide where it goes. We're going to add a step and collect submissions, and it tells us where those submissions will be stored, and I'll show that in just a second. Um, actions after submit, though, we want to go and create a webhook. So in the webhook, we're going to get a URL, and this URL is going to come from the Zap. So our first step is to catch the webhook. So we're going to go in here into the step and it's saying what do you want to do I want to catch a hook uh, I want to pick off a child key we're just gonna leave this This is gonna grab everything from the webhook don't worry about anything in the step um, now it's saying we're listening well we can't actually it's not gonna do anything until we actually put in the webhook URL and then we have to test submit this one time so we're gonna go ahead and hit update and then what will happen with our test submission is, so I'm going to go ahead and click here, we're going to go view page, what will happen with our test submission is that data will just sit in the zap and then we can play with that data to get it to go where we want it to go. Um, like on the back end of this we could, if we want to put them in an automated sequence inside of Infusionsoft or we want to send their address to send out cards and have them sent a postcard, like I mean anything is possible in here. Um, send it off to AI and compose an email that's based on the things that they submitted. Uh, that tells them how awesome they are based on their interests and the things they love. It's, I mean, it's literally limitless um, at this point with all the AI tools we can use. So anyway, Jonathan testing, guess mobile phone, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, seven, seven, nine, zero. I got that number a long time ago. Just kidding. Jonathan testing at whatever.com. Uh, just Jonathan testing. This is all about me because I'm great.
and humble. Awesome. Um, 46 questions you like Deborah to ask the question the guest question one I kind of want to test this actually to see how the line breaks come through so question two question so I'm just adding line breaks in here question four all right guess URL to send listeners w, mm, w, 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 dot strive for impact .com, a website that is sadly neglected and needs a whole lot of love uh, youtube.com slash drive for impact.com nope just drive for impact um, and LinkedIn I'll just put in because I want to test these line breaks when they come through and just see if we can play with them a little bit so linked link link l-i-n-k-e-d linked in dot com slash i am slash drive alright is the guest promoting a book I have so many books actually, I actually have one book two books one's called tug it's about a slug he's living in a rug that's not an exaggeration that's true all right we're gonna go here I'm gonna upload this very silly image that was generated by AI and let's record a podcast great we should actually add some padding down here at the bottom below those here so I'm gonna go in and just just one thing I'm noticing so I'm gonna go in and add some margin at the bottom of this section down here 100 we're gonna go ahead and hit update and um, anyway, so, really? You don't allow PNG files? We should allow PNG files. All right, so I'll go back over here. Dun, dun, dun. Guest headshot. File types allowed, comma, PNG. Update. All right, I get to type all that data in again. I mean, I'm glad I uploaded a PNG so that we could see that it doesn't work, and also I could refresh the page and get the page just cleaned up a little bit with a little spacing down at the bottom. So we're going to try this again. Dun, dun, dun. Um, also, if you ever make a change to a page and you aren't seeing the change, just clear and preload the cache. You can do that as frequently and often as you want. You won't break things by clearing and preloading the cache. It will just make the site load a little bit slower for anyone on their first visit, but then the cache will get reloaded and um, it'll work fine after that. So um, scroll down here, we added 100. I, I'm going to add more padding, but at least we get an idea here. Okay, so Jonathan testing, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Guess email, I was funnier the first time at submitting again.com. Topic, this is great. Short bio. Jonathan is very, very witty and fun and humble. Uh, four to six questions you'd like to ask Deborah to ask. Mm, question one. I'm going to do this faster this time instead of just typing it every time. Question four, question three, question two. Guess URL. Sure. Guess full symbol social media. Oh, LinkedIn. Is the guest promoting a book? Um, Tug the Slug. It is actually a book, so just for whatever that's worth. Um, all right, this time we'll upload why though. All right. Oh, it's WebP file. That's not going to upload. <laughs> Great. Um, I don't know. I've just been doing some mid-journey generations, so we'll play with this. Um, great. All right. Let's record a podcast. We should probably put some padding down here at the bottom with the button, too. So I'm just going to go in and do a little bit more layout stuff in here while that is going. This is totally separate from how to get this stuff into Zapier, but... Um, Anyway, I just think it's a good idea to do it while we're here. So, and then the button, I want to just add some padding around the button. Border type, border radius. I don't remember how to add padding around the button. Box shadow, background. Mm. Layout. Nope. Oh, edit section, that's why. I'm in the section, not the form. Who edit form. Okay. Style button. Oh wait. Is it in here? Form label HTML field. No. Buttons. There should be a padding or mark. There we go. I was in the wrong thing. Alright. 
text padding border radius. No, there should be a button padding, not text padding. Text padding will live just around the text as opposed to a, a margin above the button. Anyway, I won't spend too much time with that. We're going to go ahead and hit update. I'm going to go back over to the zap. And I submitted that form. We want to make sure that my form submission went through well. So yes, I was taken off to Calendly, which means the form submission went through. And I'm going to go ahead and test the trigger. So now we have request A, which says Jonathan testing. And it's got all of my data in here, right, in the zap. So um, now we're going to use this as our test record. And we're going to continue. Come on. We're going to continue with the selected record. So now we're going to go to the text formatter. We have the first and last name coming into one field. And so what we need to do is split that text. If we want to, I guess we don't need to, but I'm going to assume we'd like to be able to, at some point, just email this guest um, by Hi Jill, not Hi Jill Smith. Right. So uh, what I think we should do is actually split this into two fields when it sorts into here guest last name. I don't know why we have guest first and guest last going into one field, but whatever. Um, so we'll go in here, go bold, view, freeze. One row. We're already asking them for a ton of data anyway, so we should just be. But whatever. Um, all right, so guest first, and this way I can show this too. So uh, we're going to split this text, and we're going to split it based on a space. So if we've got the guest first and last name, we're going to have Jill Smith, right? And we want to split it into Jill and Smith. So we're going to use a spacing. I'll blow this up a little bit so I can actually see it. Ah, uh, come on. More. Here we go. So the default that it uses is a space, but I'm just going to explicitly state that. And the input is going to be the guest first and last name. So it's currently Jonathan testing space. So we're going to do this. And the segment index, we want to use all as separate fields. So basically, uh, Jonathan Andrew Craft would become three fields. But oh well, um, we're only going to map two of those fields. So it would be Jonathan Andrew that would show up in the spreadsheet. But you can't account for all of that, right? So anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and test this step and make sure it gets split into Jonathan and testing, which it does. OK, so now we're going to continue. And in our next step, we're in the Create Spreadsheets by Google. And um, we're going to continue. I don't want to, oh, I do want to create a spreadsheet row. I don't want to create a new spreadsheet. So that's correct. And we're connected up to Devers' account. So now we're going to go look for the correct Google Drive, my Google Drive. And we're going to look for the right spreadsheet, which should be the most recent or one of the most recent ones, because we've been editing in here. And it's currently connecting up. Yep, podcast gets submissions. So that's great. And then we want to go to sheet one, which is representing this sheet here. And then we're going to get all of the fields so that we can map the data properly. So now for guest first and guest last, we're going to use the text formatter. And we're going to use output item one for guest first. We're going to use output item two for last name. And then we're going to do all the fields. We're just going to map all the fields. So you can search the field in here. Right, so we're going to do phone there. We're going to do okay. So I'm going to actually just come back to this video in just a minute. It's already 18 minutes long anyway, so you can go get a coffee or a tea or whatever, and uh, I will be right back to finish this up. I didn't realize this version of the recorder had a pause button, which is wonderful because uh, now I can just continue. So we're going to catch the webhook, and in this one, we want the email. It's, it's not been any time for you at all, but it's been time for me. All right, I was funnier the first time at testing again. Uh, topic for podcast guests. So topic. Topic for podcast guests. So what we're doing is mapping from what came in from the form in the webhook to the spreadsheet that we want stuff stored on. All right, so we're going to go short bio for guest is here. Um, bio. short bio for guest and we're going to go here four to six questions so I'm going to search for questions and we're going to go here guess URL so we're going to do URL search here 
um, guess URL. And we're going to do guess full social media. And we're going to go here, uh, book. And we're going to go here and guess headshot. And we're going to go search and we're going to do headshot. Guest headshot. Great. All right. So now we'll have all of this in the spreadsheet um, for storing the data, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue and we're going to run a test of this. So you'll notice right now the spreadsheet is empty. What's probably going to happen is it's not going to recognize this row and our data is probably going to hit above this row the first time we do it. So we'll probably have to rearrange in the sheet um, once we do that. But I'm going to go ahead and test this step. And uh, we're going to go back over to the sheet now, and here it is. So it came in bold. I don't want it bolded. Other than that, everything came through pretty much how we want it. Four to six questions. The line breaks are here. Uh, guess full. The line breaks are there if there's line breaks. right? So that pretty much is everything mapped. Um, and now to make this active, all we need to do is publish the zap. And that's it. Um, so with this tool, though, you, we, we could go in and add a hundred more steps, right? I mean, not a hundred, you, you don't want to add a hundred, but you'd create a new zap to do other things and you would just send this zap to another zap if there's a step two zap um, with a whole bunch of its own steps in it. But yeah, so we're grabbing webhook data from an Elementor form and formatting that text to split it. And then you can format text in a million ways. Um, we don't usually use formatter for anything other than splitting based on spaces, but you can use it in a bunch of ways. And then in this case, we're just sending the data off to a spreadsheet um, and creating that row in Google Sheets. So that is everything um, that is in here. And yeah, if um, if you have any questions on this, let me know. But that is how to map this. I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So now anytime anybody, and we'll just test it once it's published to make sure that this worked. But we're going to go here and we're going to go view page. Because we don't need to make more edits in here now at this point. We're going to go in and go Jonathan again. Um, three, two, one, three, two, one. One two three four guest email Jonathan at this is not a real email Jonathan just testing dot com uh, topic for tonight's guest podcast um, uh, forty two uh, short bio for guest. Um, ask the right question, uh, life, the universe, and everything. That is grammatically incorrect. Life, comma, the universe, comma, and everything. All right. I uh, guess URL to send listeners. We'll just throw my URL in here again because it's right here. Um, yeah, I'm not real active on the socials other than like YouTube or I, whatever. All right, this is just for testing anyway. It doesn't matter. Is the guest promoting a book, program, or summit you already discussed? Yeah, tug. We already discussed this. The slug. All right, now I have to do it. Um, here's a book on Amazon. Tug the slug. It's a kid's book. A poem. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? It's a fake band? Oh, my gosh. No, I didn't know. Oh, it's a euphemism. Oh, jeez. That was not intentional. I have a way of doing these things on accident. Um, all right, so we'll go here, and I'll find the book. Here we go. I love myself, healing scar tissue, and tug. I do have more books. Okay, tug is a slug. He's a smug slug living in a rug. That's how the story goes. That's Anyway, I did not know it was a euphemism, and now I feel silly. Oh, well, maybe it sells more because of it. Okay, we're going to go back over here. Jeez. I don't know. I feel bad for now making a little kid's book that has that title. It's a kid's book, though. Um, all right. <laughs> Sad. There we go. So now we're going to just make sure that that submission landed on the page. 
and yes it did and it appears everything came through correctly I should have put some more line breaks in here to make sure it was good guest headshot I didn't upload one so everything's fine there um, and yeah that's good to go that's the whole thing so if we need to make any of these fields required that aren't let me know but otherwise you should be good to go with the Elementor form submitting and tracking the data in a Google Sheet. There are other easier ways to do this integration but I imagine what's going to happen is on the back end of this we're going to want to add more steps which is why we've put this into uh, Zapier. Okay, thank you very much.